actually here just uh, coincidentally visiting. Uh, he's going to Disneyland, but he was also here for MSN. Yo, Disneyland? Why not? Yeah. I should go, man. Yeah, you, you want should. to go right now? Yeah. How much, yeah. how much does it cost? I have an annual pass. <laughs> we'll, ask, we'll ask. We'll find out later, man. Okay. Anyways. Wait, you do? Yes, I do. Anyways, here Good. we go, though. Uh, Scat, that is definitely not... Man, all the Mega Man mains, they're just not playing Mega Man. They like, tricked you. They tricked all of 2G Gaming. <laughs> it's like, hey, I, I, hey, no, I, I I'm a Mega, Mega Man. <laughs> I play Mega Man. Fly me out. Yeah, please. Bust out Snake. Yeah. But, I mean, Scat does have a snake. That, that, this is something that he's you know, he's busted out in the, in, in the past when he was coming out here into Smash Ultimate. Mm -hmm. We'll see what he can do with this fight. Yeah, Scat recently uh, PGR'd, I believe, right? Uh, mm -hmm. I don't remember the exact number, but uh, he is in, like, the... The lower half of the PGR, if I recall correctly. Yeah, made it onto the, one, one of the few Georgia mains to mm -hmm. uh, Georgia players that make it onto the PR, if not yeah. the only one. Mm -hmm. Wow, just a flurry of projectiles, but Xax keeps his cool, uh, keeps his cool, and is able to get navigate right around them. Now, Shield was looking a little bit weak. Now, uh, um, Xax has this uh, way where he's like he's holding onto the ink. He has just enough ink to be able to throw one more grenade afterwards, without having the charge. Yeah. But oh, I like that he was playing aggressive there. He knows that the fourth throw could easily go into the down smash. Catches another paintbrush forward smash, taking away Scott's first stock. Yep, Scott plans, pressing a couple too many buttons, thought that Exact was going to keep on the aggression, but he knows when to time between aggression and just being able to wait for an option and then get a harder punish afterwards. That was very smart decision making from Exact right and, there. And Exact lives in SoCal now. Like, I, 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 that caught me a little bit off guard because he used to be in NorCal for so long. Mm -hmm. So it's cool to see him competing out here over yeah. at the uh, SoCal tournaments here at MSM. Yeah. He's so all oh my god, playing well. safe. You saw that he went for the back arrow against the shield, faded back. He's been doing that so much this game already. They opts to go in for the little roller action. That's how he's gonna get one of his kills, right? Yeah. Yeah. Every time the the tech chase situation comes out, I see XX always pulls out the roller because he's got at least some kind of opportunity afterwards. But let's see. What's the opportunity gonna find itself here? Wow. Okay. Just uh try to apply a little bit of pressure or something. Not quite going to find anything yet. Scout with the slowest just jump in back here. Might as well do it. Throwing out a bunch of up smashes to try to apply pressure against XX on the ledge. Just rolls right through it all. Just get get, get away from those explosions, man. Yeah. You're still surviving. A lot of burst dash attacks. Look out for that Nikita missile. Yeah. Thank that trap. Oh, okay. yeah, that's, there were explosions uh, everywhere, man. Yeah, it's just trying to go through a minefield. Not going to work out. But I mean, I will be honest. I think that Inkling is one of the harder. You're oh dead. wow, he just he just literally landed with it. But, but the grenade was hit? there. He got hit by the grenade. Yeah. My God. I don't know if Scat necessarily placed it there to have it be like that, but that was still a very good lucky situation. Anyways. I think Inkling in general is going to be a little bit harder to catch with the Nikita just because he has so many ways to recover and how to mix it up. But uh, Scat making the most out of it. Two back airs, put him off stage. Got another minefield set up, keeping him back there. And wow, just look at that. All the damage tacked up already. Trying to apply some more pressure here. 177%. I mean, Snake is a big boy, but it's not going to be able to survive. Oh, he did. He survived the back throw. Yeah. Good he, DI. He wanted to do a quick one because he knew that grenade was going to explode any second. But uh, maybe one more pummel would have done it, oh, but not quite. Oh, my, my God. My goodness. He was on the left side of the stage. He got caught by yet another C4. And just like that, you know, abusing that maximum rage from Scat. Still going to survive. And at this point, he can go for trades. Mm -hmm. He can just trade these explosion hits and uh, you know just to apply damage. Maybe not at 199 percent. Let, let me rephrase this. That could be actually dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely one of those things where a snake can survive for a really long time. And inkling sometimes, if you don't find those setups that you're looking for, you can have a bit of a hard time finding the kill as well. So we'll have to say, oh my god, wow. did you see how much damage that Nair did? All he got that. all of the hits in. He was trying to end it with the forward smash too. You saw him trying to catch that little two frame on the super jump, the up B from uh, inkling. And now here we go. One stock apiece, 86% on Exax. Scat, what is he going to do? This is Exax's time, time to try to play a little bit more aggressive. He needs to get in there. He can't let Scat set up and set up these camps. Yeah. Which is what he's doing with these platforms. You got that C4 on the left side of the platform. I feel like it's going to come in later on in the play. All right, let's see. We got the movement. The B reverse has come in. Wow, he picks up the grenade and just gets a grab. Up tilts, closes it out. Game one going to Scat. My man's anti-air is on point. When you get caught by that up tilt, like, can you imagine this, this grown man, Snake, just reaching his leg up into the air like that, just kicking you in the face. You know it's devastating. Maybe not as de devastating as it was back in the Brawl days, but still, it gets the job done. It's still a threat, and Scat's going to be using it as he takes away game one, like you said. Here we go into the game number two. Exax has been mostly playing Inkling. I know he has a Fox on the side. They likes to bust out every now and then, but I don't think he's going to be 
choosing it anytime soon today. Okay, uh, I've never seen the Fox, so I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna be honest. He did, it in, he did it in friendlies. Okay, okay, he okay. did it in friendlies, man. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> They're just uh, recollections of the past, you know. Yeah. Just, uh, reminiscing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Oh yeah, XX was telling me about this. He was a hardcore, only light blue inkling for a very long time, and he started thinking to himself, you know, sometimes you just gotta change the color, man, and then that's what you need. Get that so. young refresh. Yeah. So let's see if the the purple schoolgirl gonna work out a little bit better for XX this time around. Already right, gonna get that throw, gets that grab. Not too much damage afterwards, and Scat gets out of that disadvantage state. Goes back into the center. Look at this pressure XX is starting to establish. Wow, he just stood there and decided to grab XX right out of it. And he got a lot of damage out of it too, man. You saw him because he jumped right in front of him. He grabbed him mid-air. Be able to apply some more pressure. Some more instant. Oh, I like that answer from Sky. He tried to plant the C4 to a you know to a hit XX before the roller went forward. But just a little hair too slow. Yeah, I that like was the a idea. Very smart idea, especially when he had to be reverse too, just to be able to get away from the roller hitbox too. This guy had to go for that. Oh god, he put himself in a bad position because he got the tech afterwards. Went for the up B again. He had to air dodge into the stage, and XX had a down smash, a little buckaroo. Yeah. To be able to get that kill. Mm -hmm. You definitely have to take advantage of those situations where Snake's a sitting duck, especially when he's just pulling out the Cypher. He's stuck there for a very long time. And then afterwards, you can just really capitalize off of it. But for tilt, that just closes it out, man. Every single time you think that XX is about to have some kind of lead, Scat just comes back and two hits. Two hits, that's all he needed. I mean, it's like a truck. He's going to stomp on them and do some ladder combos here, quite literally, on the ground. I'm going to do his footstep workout. Yeah, dance on him. And back throw, okay, up air, land on the stage. I like that answer. Okay, and right there, because Scat, you know, some, it was a little bit delayed with that tech, you know. It, 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 when you fight against Inkling, it's better not even to tech sometimes because they're waiting for you to tech and place your tech away to get hit by the roller. If you're laying it down on the ground, you get hit by the roller, it's not going to give you in the barrow states. It's going to push you back. You may take some damage, sure, but hey, you're going to be able to survive. Now we see Scat recovering super high, 121%. Good call from Exax. He was actually waiting for Scat to commit to an option like either pulling out a grenade or activating a C4. If Snake does any of that, he has some cooldown afterwards, and Exax capitalized, got the kill, got the up air. Yeah, I really like that position with the grenade too, made it so that Scat had to go behind it because there's not enough drift for him to go around it, so then he was able to close out where he was gonna figure out where he was gonna land, so very nice stuff. Oh, the C4, he wasn't ready for it, wasn't expecting it to just detonate right there. Yeah, caught him jumping, he's gotta be aware. Okay, 27% on Scat. Trying to turn the tables. Now he's pulling grenades right in front of him, hoping that like Exax will hit the grenade with an aerial attack. That's why you'll see Snake a lot of the times holding shields so often. Mm -hmm. Because they're hoping their opponent hits the shield or hits the grenade rather yeah. to cause it to explode. Yeah, C4 plants it again, out of there. Holding onto the shield while holding onto a grenade. We got a trade coming in, gives Scat the advantage. I like that Scat doesn't uh, try to follow up anything after the jab. Even though it was a tech chase situation, he knew that the roller paint would slow down Snake a little bit, so maybe he wouldn't reach correctly. So he just decides to hesitate and uh, pick his battle another time. Gets another C4. Pun he uses the C4 to punish a whiffed grab. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. C4 is a whiff punish. I can feel it. Yeah, this is where Inkling kind of starts to suffer, and this is where Snake is really good. He's got the lead. He's got all these explosives, and now he's got to force Exax to really commit and approach to something. But those trades are going to help out Ex or excuse me, Scat a lot in this scenario here. It's tough when you're playing with the lead, but Exax is doing a pretty okay job. They're both in the air. You see them both kind of like fade away from each other while also they're just throwing out active hitboxes. Wait, we got to roll. Up smash, he did, it wasn't, he fell out of the, the sweet spot. Yeah. Didn't go flying, 142%, gets caught by the Nikita missile. He was trying to swing through it. Because he hit the Nikita missile, it dropped down like a rock, and even though he hit Snake right afterwards, the explosion